So should we get you on in and get your room? Well, I'm waiting for him to, to come out here. Oh, okay. And then... Who are you waiting on? Uh, the guy who booked me for this thing. Uh, Who's the guy that booked you? Don Bishop. Uh, so I, don't, I don't pay for shit because I'm a worker. <laughs> and I've made friends with the promoters, so I don't pay, you know. And you're wearing a Bears hat, so you shouldn't have to pay for anything. And I, li <laughs> and I live five minutes from the Cincinnati <laughs> Bengals Stadium, and I'm a Bears fan. See, I, under I understand so the risk involved. Where? You're from Cincinnati. Yeah, then. we're married. Okay, I grew up. I grew up like right outside of Cincinnati. <laughs> where? Uh, you know where the casino boats are, like Lawrenceburg. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right Aurora. Over there. Yeah. yeah, Aurora. Oh, okay. Aurora. Okay. There you go. Believe me, I understand the risk because I live in Nebraska and I'm an Iowa State fan, so I risk my life on a you daily basis. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I came all the way from Nebraska I don't for think this. You guys got bigger Anybody balls than Nebraska. I do. <laughs> At least you're not from Wyoming. I still have this theory that, that Wyoming doesn't exist. Because if you ever met anybody that says, I haven't, Wyoming, never, nobody. never, nobody ever. Have to say no. It's just a fucking word. Not now, every the time you meet somebody, you're going to start questioning exist. shit. I met people from Montana, but never no, Wyoming. Exactly. I'll be on your radio show. I'll make it funny. <laughs> Good, someone could do it out there. Very sensitive. This fucking guy hates everybody. Oh, I'll bury anybody you ask me to bury. Anybody. And they will bury him CM well. Punk, I'll bury him. Abdul the Butcher, I'll bury him. New Jack. New Jack, Jack I'll fucking kill him. Ian New Rotten. Jack. Ian Rotten, I'll bury him. Well, I'll bury all of them. That's easily enough done. Yeah, so, so if you need somebody to bury somebody, I'm your dude. So you came here instead of Brian's convention? Yes, yes, I came to this convention wow. instead. <laughs> I've been to Brian's. I've been to Brian's for the last three years. I needed oh, yeah? to change pace. That wasn't a very long interview. Besides, this, this is the last Russell Crap Radio ever, and I've been a sponsor for how many years now? How could I miss this? Piper in there yet? Yeah, we should probably go do that. We're going to go get Piper and call Rory McAllister and all that stuff. So I dropped names. There you go. Hey, Rory, tell them what we do with corn. Drop your name again, brother. My name is Ed. Eddie Gonzalez on the indie scene, but you ain't never heard of me. 436 in a PWI 500. <laughs> that's, that's, that's higher than my partner in crime, Mr. Fitness. He <laughs> peaked at 490. So. Oh, okay. I, Man, I, you I guys peaked got in the 500. We never did. I peaked at 436. <laughs> rumor has it this year I'll be 297. That's the rumor. Rumor has it me and my boobs are getting in the female edition this year. <laughs> Fuck yeah. She got new boobs, so she's excited. <laughs> PWI boob <laughs> Yeah, I've actually had one of the guys on my show who compiles the list, so if you have any complaints, I can direct them to him. <laughs> yes. Actually, if they're wrecking boobs, wouldn't it be the PWI 1000? <laughs> oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I, just, I like this guy already. Cha -ching. Very clever. I'm the first guy that probably introduced him as, instead of going, yeah, I'm a wrestler, how are you? I said, I'm a shitty indie worker. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Goes right. down smooth. Alright, we gotta go do our gimmick in here. So I'll see you around. We'll see you. We'll see you. I'm gonna find your show and I'm gonna crash it. <laughs> starting, a, starting a new show, man. It's gonna destroy the world, bro. I'm just telling you, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell my wife. Just lay down and accept it. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> lay down and accept it like Judge. Jody, exactly. Jody Foster and the accused. <laughs> She's already walking away. Okay. Alright, guys. Later. So what time did you guys leave? Shit, I can't remember, man. I left at 7.30, and then we left from his place like 11. Oh, my gosh. How you doing? Corey. Good. <laughs> Hi, nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Heard a lot about you. <laughs> we, we owe Corey a lot of gratitude. He's done all the driving all the way here. No problem. How's it going, man? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? What's going on, brother? Yeah. Uh, finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. This is fucking private house. Nice to meet you. RD, nice to meet you. I'm Stevie. Hey, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Shit, man. We were we were supposed to this is the guy who's gonna pick me up for the Mickey the, the aborted Mickey James <laughs> show, man. I keep telling him I'm one degree of separation from Mickey if he really wants to meet her. I know her former webmaster. He helped design my site. Oh, cool. <laughs> Uh oh, BWO shirt. Yep. Oh, that is, that's killer right there. <laughs> that is awesome. Gary Allegri is another one. You guys got to come check out the table, man. It's all right, all right, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Luke. Hey. Oh, you look nice, nice you, brother. How you doing, man? That's right. Hell yeah. Bro, it's better, huh? Come on. Okay, I tried, tried, I tried to get, uh, tried to get uh, Thomas Robin here, man. He could autograph that shirt for him. There you go, man. Yeah. <laughs>